Hello, this is the last part of the free video series about how to learn most efficient way to use Elementor Page Builder. If you haven't seen first two parts, you can go back and watch. You should see a link somewhere in this video or in the description. In this video, I will use some pre-designed elements from previous tutorials. By the way, my name is Ayrides Kerstukas and I will show you quickly what we are going to build today this kind of element of the page barbershop exclusive sponsors and few logos kind of background as you can see and then as well picture and some more information about and booking now button let's jump to the elementor and do it just wanted to say in this video in particular i gonna do a lot of copy and paste because i want to speed up the process and if you wanted to watch from scratch how to do it you can always go back to the part one or part two and there I'm explaining step by step how you can design every element from scratch anyway you can always go to my website and download the file it's all information sitting in that file and you can basically go and follow and adjust the setting by the way I adjusted the settings in the tutorial let's do it first thing is this barbershop lucic sponsor so if we're gonna go to the my page just grab this one insert two layouts as you can see here to layout you don't need to do any adjustment in this section and you have 50 by 50 then going to the next the style what you're doing in here you adjusting the color so we're just going to gradient color first one you can go and copy this one and just paste into this field and second one we have a color here linear and this angle 360 we're going to the advanced this one is unnecessarily now adjust you can do do it or you don't because now you still don't think any elements so it's quite difficult to adjust because after anyway you're probably gonna need to come back and to adjustments again one one and one and you can see what it's done you just put padding put more space in here and here and here so those two elements what is gonna be sitting in this kind of section gonna be squeezed a little bit more in the middle of the page style you got background overlay background type selecting image these files by the way you will be able to download this file from the my website page if you wanted to follow exactly this kind of tutorial as you can see it's this one sitting in default so you can do it center center that's gonna be lifted up this one fixed that's mean it's always gonna be fixed that image no repeat and cover all picture gonna be squeezed and then opacity you can increase you can decrease it depends from your preferences and you have cc filters 2.6 that's mean it's a little bit blurring out 102 109 and saturation one next thing is insert heading in the first column as you can see this one kind if you would go scroll up you can go on this element copy and then you going back here in this element paste tag already copied in field and that's where delete right margin and you have a special barber shop and we can go and gonna change the text on it barber shop exclusive sponsors and you can see the sponsors still sitting there so how we can do it a little bit adjusting here select this element and then i go and can do in copy text coming back here paste it's all about the style copy and paste and then if you go into the style topography this one we need to change to 500 make a little bit smaller the font is lucitiana that the margin depends where you want that text would sit on your page if you're gonna here we can see it sitting might be a little bit closer to that sponsor so how you want to do you just going to advance and then unselected values and then minus five you can see it's lifting up and bottom minus two so that's as well has been shifted a little bit up idea is to put this kind text in the length of that word the sponsors and next element or line we have one line it's already made in here i select this line copy and then i'm going down paste if you don't happy with the length of the line you can do longer or shorter and now let's go and short the second column so first what we have to do we have to insert inner section 
and then you can see it's free element in here duplicate and you have free element before that you just have to go into this column things and just do vertical line of the middle shifting all that inner element in the middle of this box we insert the images so we're going to our elements and then finding image element and drop it then going select darling sir going to the style the width just by your willingness you like this size if you don't you can do bigger or smaller and then we're going selecting css filters just in the way we wanted that picture would look next duplicate duplicate again and then i can go and delete this section and i can go and delete this section so you have three images you just press on this one going choose the image and then you select in different and as you can see it's adjusted but if i'm gonna go back you can see it doesn't look all right at this kind of thing so as you already can guess you just go to the style and then you can play with the setting you have to go to here and then vertical middle and then we're going here to the last one image choose and we're gonna select to go align middle because i haven't done it for the first one if you would do and do for the first one you wouldn't need to go and do repeat now we're gonna design the last section of this website so what we have to do we have to go here and pick our structure as normally you can pick from one to this time we're gonna pick this one two and then we're going to the style color and our color is this one copy and then paste and we don't need to do any other adjustment in this section this section i'm gonna try to do it differently we're not gonna keep following bits by bits but we're gonna try to copy and paste already the information we having and then you can have it and do it this one even between the pages so as long as you design something you can reuse it on the same project that saves extremely a lot of time first what we can see we having seeing this kind of element is here so if we're gonna go back to our page if i gonna scroll up you can see this kind of similar thing having here so what we can do we can just go in selecting this and you just as copy and then you're going down paste and then we paste everything i'm just gonna delete that middle section so we have here it's only this one i go in here on advanced motion effect and i gonna disable now scrolling down you can see a lot of unnecessary elements has been inserted but it is easy to delete you just delete delete you having this element here first i'm just gonna move here select then you want to align everything to the right going to advance 75 to the right you just doing opposite then we're going to the text rename it i just gonna copy and paste and then align to the right but as you can see what happening it's some space here left going to advance so probably it is margin just deleting that margin so if you're gonna go here what say client say it's almost all the same then we having it's all about the style i like this slogan actually selecting gonna paste all about the style going to the style and then doing to the right if you're gonna go advance here you can see top you can always shift it up or shift it down it's down to your preference we're gonna align basically to the right as well and then edit texture going here we're just gonna copy text usually what this makes only you have to have a text already prepared everything what you want to put on your website otherwise it can take ages to do if you have no idea what you're gonna write down okay so we're just designing to the right and as you can see as well some kind of margin left it and you can see we paste that information in here if we're gonna go back yeah it has been a bit a little bit shifted so you can play as well you can padding zero bottom zero left let's say you want a 10 get increase it just play as long as you find the way it looks pleasing to the, your eyes and now we need to insert actually the spacer go in here and we're gonna drop the spacer stay on the page i inserted spacer and then about here actually and what i can do as well i'm going to this button i'm gonna copy i'm coming here and i'm gonna paste and as you can see book 
and we're gonna change the icon on the cut and color red and the content to the right we're gonna go here you can see this kind here but if i'm gonna select that color it's a little bit different so you can if you want to do precise you have to know the color you just can't type any color because it doesn't look then very nice it's much much nicer and then color background paste as well so i like this one and then if i gonna go to advance or to the hoover border color it's a little bit too light so just change it paste so this one if you want to do a little bit wider you can always play with the padding you can increase right or left and make a little bit bigger or smaller let's say one of this kind so as you can see look nice we have to go select our that column and go to the style i'm gonna go and then background color and select this one color i'm gonna copy and i'm gonna paste and then we're going to go background overlay background time and we have to pick the picture and then we have to center scroll no repeat and cover and as you can see you can't see anything opacity 76 and blend mode luminosity you can't see anything because there's no element yet in this column so what we have to do first insert some element to see different and we're gonna be inserting spacer and i insert inserted spacer and as you can see you already have the image let's see this kind might be and then we're going back to our element we're going to advance and we have to do with the march top we need to ship a little bit up if you're gonna go back you can see it looks really really similar and now the text actually so this element instead of creating from scratch we already created some i just gonna go copy because you want anyway you have similar style and i'm going back i have to find this pacer and just paste and you see it's there if i'm gonna go here basically what is there i'm just gonna select just gonna copy text paste a similar text so go to the advanced to the positioning and we have to change position we here and we going kind of here it depends where you like I like kind of this kind update and now going to object how it looks and it looks amazing as you can see we design it we change it so quick this last part and you can feel that the first few parts it was really really long and take time and the further we going and making we try we're doing much much quicker thank you for watching this and i would like to hear what you think about this content just drop the comment below don't forget to smash like button subscribe and put a ring on the notification bell thank you and bye bye to the next time